All right. Well, I just, uh, I've been sawmilling and uh, I figure I'd share what I've been getting after. I've got some pretty ones. Um, I've got a lot of logs here that I that I just I got to get I got to get rolling out of here. Um, I had the big husky 3120 out yesterday after I'd rebuilt it or just put a new jug and stuff on it, but it ended up kind of crapping out on me. Um, uh, one of the or the uh, decomp um, valve. I just, I guess I didn't tighten it down. I might have scorched it again. I don't know. That's what it is, I guess. But I got a little bit done with it. But the T-comp valve, the decomp valve fell out as I was milling. Lost compression. That was the end of that. And, uh, but I've got some honking huge maple slabs. And they're, they're, they've got a ton of ambrosia. And they've got some spalting. And they're just really, really pretty. Um, I did these guys yesterday. And I cannot wait. I had I, I I got the saw back together, but I had to order a, a new muffler and a gasket and stuff. So I'm waiting on that crap to get here. And then once that gets here, I'll snap him back together. Hopefully, it runs okay, and I don't have to put a new cylinder and piston in it again. But um, you know, it is what it is. But uh, but yeah. So this this guy, um, so it's a a silver maple. And it is just a an absolute beauty. Um, a lot of a lot of ambrosia in it, um, and I end up having to finish it with my 660 steel. Um, but I mean, it is just super pretty. And then that's that's one of the slabs that came off of it. Um, or well, those three. That's all I got out of it. But they're like this one here this this is the biggest one that it's like 32 inches or no I forget. no it's 36 inches wide it's 30 36 inches wide at the widest and then it's about six feet long um clearly those aren't as big but um they're just you know it's gonna be awesome big coffee table coffee table type stuff or small kitchen table i think that's what i'm going to do with it when i get a slightly bigger one uh might make a new uh so we've got a small kitchen table and it's ancient and, and i i like the live edgy stuff and the more natural what you know more natural stuff this is a catalpa that's a pretty honking honking big log uh it's got a couple more decent slabs in it that's what i was going to make the bar out of but uh, but decided to go with the cherry, and then I did these guys. And for what most people consider a trash wood, the grain structure on this, it's Chinese elm, and they're flipping everywhere. Um, you see them in parks and stuff a lot because they grow really fast. They're pretty invasive. Um, so you know take that for what it's worth i end up screwing one up but it ended up being okay uh it, it didn't have any any center structure it you drop it and it falls apart kind of thing um but these guys and they're just the grain on them is just wicked awesome and then this guy here this has got a lot of good you know well not a lot but some good spalting in it um, the, this is going to be highly figured. Um, that's, that's good. So my hands, my, from tip of my thumb to the tip of my finger is almost 10 inches. So that's, so that's a, that's a 24 inch, 24 inches there. So it's, you know, pretty decent, um, you know, like a coffee table. It'd probably make a, a dandy coffee table, but it's just super pretty. And, and people consider this stuff a trash wood. You know, I guess it kind of is. It don't burn terrible. Um, it's fairly hard. It's right there with cherry and walnut and stuff like that. Um, but it, God, dog, you don't. It, that's that grain structure is just stunning. And I got a couple more. I got, I got a few smaller ones here. Um, and then this is all gum. 
which I don't know what the heck I'm gonna do with that crap. And I got some pine logs to do. And I got a big old pile of logs there. And then I got a big old pile of walnut logs there. But yeah, that I just I people don't people don't give this stuff its its credit. It is just pretty. And that ain't even wet. I mean that's been sitting. Now I did it this morning and it is just pretty. And you wet that stuff up and and it's just cool looking. You got some spalting. And then like this stuff here, I bet you that just will pop like none other. That's gonna make it, that's gonna be the best slab of the bunch on on that next cut, that next two inches. Um, that's gonna be a dandy. And then it'll have some decent stuff below it, but but that one's gonna be really good. Um, and then I got, uh, I got some, uh, my neighbor had a big cherry tree brought down and it's, all heartwood like there's almost no sapwood to it um and so i'm super grateful of that uh so here's these look at that that beast that is an absolute monster so at the like across here is like 41 and then you get out here it's a huge crotch and then from edge to edge is going to be, I think it's, what the hell's on me, 60 plus. And then this crotch wood here is just going to be just loads and loads of figure. Um, and then I got a good pile of logs. I don't like to let cherry sit because uh, the sap wood gets punky really quickly. Um, so I might let this stuff sit and try to get a little bit of spalting in it. Um, but it might sit, I might let it sit for like three or three to five months, I'd say at the most. But that thing is just a dandy. Um, and then these, these walnut logs, somebody dropped them off. Uh, guy I know bought them and brought them over for me to mill. But uh, I don't know. I think they've been sitting out quite some time. But then I gotta, these have been sitting down a long time. I gotta get, I gotta really get that crap done. But, uh, but yeah, I just wanted to show, kind of show off that people, people don't like that Chinese elm, but boy, that stuff is, is just stunningly pretty. You know, and then, and like I said, it's dry. And that is just unbelievably pretty wood. I, I'm really excited for that. So, anyway. Um, I hope, uh, I hope this might do somebody some good. Like if you go to cut one down and you got a sawmill or you know somebody with a sawmill, um, you know, give it a second thought because it is some pretty, pretty stuff and they grow big. I had one cut down. I didn't even really know what it was. And then the guy that drops wood off, dropped this, this load off along with that gum. I don't know what the hell to do with that gum. Gum twists really bad. It checks and it twists just terrible. Um, so I don't know. I don't know what to do about that. I might, I might cut cookie. It will stay in cookies because it has a quilted grain, like an interlock grain. And, uh, it's got real good, like a satin brown heartwood on the, in the middle. And then, uh, but if you slab it, it just typically twists really bad. Um, you know, I guess if you milled it, and then strapped it down wicked wicked you know made them real heavy you know maybe just the top would twist and the stuff at the bottom with all the weight on it may not i don't know i i it's not really hard stuff either i'll probably cookie some of it because they do make really good cookies they don't split very bad um because that interlock grain you can't split it um for firewood like it'll 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 ruin a, uh, a hydraulic splitter a gas splitter you can't split it by hand i don't care how strong you think you are um it's the the wood on it's just weird but anyway it's all gum trees or black gum sweet gum all of them like that as far as i know um but anyway it's not about that i wanted to show off that chinese elm i've done that um if you go to have one cut down or if you find somebody if you get a sawmill or know somebody with a sawmill and, and you hear about a log give it a shot the worst worst case it actually burns okay um, I burned a ton of it out of that one I took, had took down, but, uh, it burns actually pretty okay. Um, and it, and it dries quick. 
Um, but, you know, give her a whirl because, I mean, it's it's just real pretty stuff. Real pretty. Um, like you can see in there, that's going to have some crazy figure in there. You know, like I don't know what the heck you'd use that slab for, but man, it's pretty. But anyway, uh, I like sharing this kind of stuff because this, you know, this is about as good as it gets, you know. I like it. So, anyway, have a good day.